This video is just a little tutorial on how to click around in Pratt to get some information. So first let's compare bed and bet. And we know just from our phonetic analysis that the difference between these is that D is voiced and T is voiceless. And we can see that show up in numerous spots on this waveform and spectrogram. So first, the vowel in bed is longer than the vowel in bet. We can see here that it starts at 0 0.0553 ends in 0.274, so the total duration of the vowel in bed is 0.2188, and then the total duration of the vowel in bet is well, much shorter than that, 0.153. Um, we can also see the low frequency voicing bar down in the spectrogram during the closure for D, and that's absent for T. Okay, we can also see voicing during the D part um, right here, the periodicity, and we don't see that for T, where it's an aperiodic sound. Okay. So what else can we look at here? We have some other words. So let's compare bet and deck. The primary difference here at the beginning of the word is the place of articulation. For D, it's alveolar, and B, it's bilabial. And for any difference in place, what we should expect is a difference in formant frequencies. And we have that. So we can see that the second formant for D starts at a higher frequency, 1923, than it does for bet, which is more like the high 1600s. The first formant starts a little bit lower, and the third, start, third formant starts a little bit higher as well. So if we wanted to see these formants, we could just show them, right? And we can see that the formants for deck are kind of drifting downwards, whereas for bet, they're drifting a little bit upwards. We, don't, we can also compare the formants for deck versus get. Although these words don't end in the same consonant, we want to compare the beginning. So the difference between de and ge. So here, the primary difference is that the formant frequencies for get, the second and third ones start very close together, whereas for deck, they're farther apart. Okay, and just to see that a little bit more clearly, we can show formants and see over here on the right how these, the second, you know, the F2 and F3 are closer than they are for D. So let's compare vowel formants for an actual vowel. So here we have a pretty stark difference between e and a. And so if we were to look for the first formant in get, I'd click right around here, get something around 550. The second formant, you know, sort of slopes downward and, you know, any of these values is, is acceptable. We can see that through that throughout the whole range of get, it's much higher than in got. And the reason is, you know, that F2 is a sign of advancement and e is a front vowel and a is a back vowel. So get is going to have a higher F2. So suppose I wanted to get the F2 at the onset of the vowel, right around here. It's right around 2000, a little bit higher than 2000. And then for got, I would click right around here in the middle of that second formant and get something a little bit above 1100. And again, we can just show the formants. And one thing you can do is if you have a point that you've clicked on, you can go up and to the formant and say, get the first formant. And there it is, right around 750, which is, if I clicked on that first formant, exactly what I would click on. So we have got, we have cob here. So there are a couple differences between these words. Obviously, um, the voicing is going to be different all the way through because this one begins in a voiced sound and cob begins in a voiceless sound. So if I were to pay attention to those voicing cues, I'd go and measure this VOT. All right, so I'd measure from the start of that burst there to where the periodicity begins, and my voice on set time is 0 0.07, which is 70 milliseconds. At the end of the word, I have another stop sound. Now let me turn the formants off because they're just kind of getting in the way here. I'm just going to zoom into that last part of Cobb, and if I'm interested in the B part, now here's the closure duration for the B. Now the vowel has ended here, and the B begins right around here at 3.138, and the closure duration is about 95 milliseconds. Now we can compare that to the closure duration for got, which is a little bit longer. In fact, it's quite a bit longer. It's 172 milliseconds. The closure duration for get, it's about 156. And then for deck, it's a little bit shorter. It's 118. So all of these have a pretty substantial duration of almost silence so that we can actually hear the stop sound as part of the T or K. 
So that's it for our little tutorial here. Hopefully this helps you just navigate around, making sure you know where to click on to find the information that you need.